Hello. Oh, and, and, oh, uh, oh, no, you go. You go. All right. Hello, and welcome to Intro to Audio Cues. In this tutorial, you will learn what types of audio files are supported and how to use the tools in QLab to make and manipulate your first audio cue. Sweet. All right, let's start off by making an audio cue. You can do that by clicking on the audio cue icon in the toolbar, uh -huh. by choosing audio from the cues menu, okay. or by simply dragging and dropping an audio file from the finder into your cue list. Well, that's easy enough. I am an audio file. As you can see, the first two audio cues do not have target audio files. Well, how do we fix that? You can specify a target audio file by clicking the target arrow button right here and navigating to your intended audio file. I am an audio file. The target arrow button is also helpful to change the target of an existing cue. I am an updated version of an audio file. You can also drag and drop an audio file onto an existing queue to update its target. That's handy. I am an updated version of an audio file. So, what types of audio files can an audio queue play? Well, that's exactly what I was wondering. Our favorite is the audio interchange file format, also known as the AIFF or AIF. Audio interchange file format. Or the AIF. You could call it the AIF, right? Sure. We are equally big fans of the waveform audio file format, better known as the WAV file. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Right. WAV file, living life uncompressed. We like these uncompressed formats the best as they take relatively little processing power to play and they have the best possible sound quality. They can also contain any number of tracks, although they have an overall file size limit of four gigabytes. Every audio editing program will let you save in one or both of these formats. These super excellent formats. Right. There's also the Core Audio Format, or CAF, which is an Apple-only format that is uncompressed, just like AIFF and WAVE. But CAF files have no practical file size limit. So if you need a huge multitrack file that is several hours long, CAF is the way to go. Or if you're like into audio veal, right? CAF. C A. Never mind. <laughs> ALAC, or Apple Lossless Audio Codec, is a lossless compression format that has audio quality equal to AIFF or WAV files. We don't prefer it because it takes more processing power to playback than AIFF or WAV files. Alas, I am a lack. QLab also supports MP4 and AAC files. To live my life compressed could make this file depressed. They sound better than MP3 files of the same file size, but they take more processing power than uncompressed files, just like ALACs. Gross. MP3 files are supported in QLab, but not with nearly as much enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm an MP3. <laughs> MP3 is a lossy compression format, and while it takes as little as one-tenth of the disk space of our uncompressed heroes, the sound quality is not nearly as good, and the processing overhead to decode an MP3 file adds a variable amount of delay to playback. It sounds like droopy dog. Yeah, I'm an MP3. <laughs> so there you have it. Now you know how to make an audio cue. And which files to use to make it. <laughs>